Hello everybody, my name is Ubaidah Hamdi and I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks for Xgen in Maya. So the first thing we're going to be going through is to getting like the scalp geometry. You're going to be duplicating the body, isolating it, selecting the geometry where you want the hair to be on. Let's say I'm taking this part over. I'm just gonna take the shape where my hair gonna be over the head I selected the geometry now I'm gonna reverse the selection by pressing shift and drag and then I'm gonna be deleting the faces now I got this extra geometry for the hair normally I would like select the faces and just move offset it a little bit of the head just to see it uh, I can select it very easily so the first thing I'm gonna be creating description but before that I need to say something about UVs in XGen when you draw some masks or maps you, you're gonna be drawing it first over UVs and then it will convert it to Petex so it's better for you to get a clean UV before you start doing anything for this shape so I'm gonna be cleaning the UVs very quickly unfolding them with pack now I get like a really clean UV for this part which will which will be so easy later to create masks so you, you will get like a higher resolution for it now I'm gonna be creating new description let's say testing description with a new collection I'm gonna be selecting placing and shading guides I'm gonna do create so let's say I placed some guides over here generate the hair you're gonna, be, you're gonna see how you got the hair there let me just give them a little length over there so you can see it more easily So I get the hair, but here is the problem, like if I want to draw some mask, let's say density mask over it, I'm going to give it resolution 50, I'm going to make create, I get an error and I cannot draw anything over it. Here is the thing, when you got this geometry, this geometry is having like, uh, it's having redshift material and Maya 3D my texturing 3d paint tool won't work with like foreign materials so you you will have to assign a standard material for it so I'm gonna be pressing shift T to assign material I'm gonna select default material some something like Lambert so after assigning Lambert now I'm gonna be trying to draw a mask over it again and here it works so you open the tool settings you're gonna be choosing the hard brush because if you're gonna draw with this brush the soft edges brush let's say you have drawn something like that it won't work because it's transparency it's like it's going over gradient from full a hundred percent and it will be faded out so you're not gonna be getting any clean masking with this you're gonna be using the sharp brush for it you're gonna draw your mask and now you're gonna be saving the map now here you you get it so clean over there so this is the first tip for XGen always make sure you get a clean UV you get standard material for the shape where you are placing your guides and it's all okay now.